Hello, Finn. Hey, boy, what up? Ready for some diving? Yeah, I'm just meditating <laughs> before the dive. <laughs> you need to call in the frogs, okay? Frogfish. Frogfish? Yeah, make sure they're there. Yeah. So, you're filling some waters. We can rinse our BCDs, regulators, shoes, w wetsuits, and our camera, a little camera one. Uh, we got a friend coming today. It's gonna be an awesome dive. And he's an expert on frogfish. So hopefully we find some frogfish. But either, either way, uh, he's gonna look at some of our videos and photos from previous dives and try to identify them for us. There's not that many frogfish in the Philippines, so some of them are really rare, so it's kind of cool. This is an awesome dive. Scuba house, huh? It's perfect. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, and it's gonna, that's going to be uh, Dr. Dan here. I'm also going to do his course, and we actually I'm editing a video right now, and I'm going to show him my laptop, yeah. and like, hey, Dan, what the heck is this? <laughs> There's so many... <laughs> because we can't even find it in the books. We're looking at the food books of identification and there's nothing like it they're so hard to identify because even one species there's like a hundred different colors so so difficult oh uh, we even got the new uh the hangers for the bcds to dry <laughs> it's gonna be awesome and the best part we're in a walking distance yeah yeah we're literally just gonna walk right down here to one of our favorite sites we're gonna do two night dives tonight, but we picked the worst day. The waves are huge. You can't really tell. <laughs> there's Finn over there. But these waves are huge. Usually there's a big beach right here. But I don't know how we're gonna get in. This side too. This might have to be our uh, entry point. Usually our entry point is way over there. Ooh. And we brought even more tanks. <laughs> and the gear from Pure Vita. Looking here at is the nose. It doesn't... So that's almost identical to spot fin and the lure that all that. So which one look for is right here. You see here? Yeah. Okay, pause it. I like the marble shrimp, but it's... It's like bright red. What the like hell is eyes. a hinge beak? It's a shrimp. <laughs> well, he's telling us, you know, it's easy to find the marble shrimp here. What? Yeah, so yeah. easy. The one on the cover? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, just sunset in broken coral at five, six meters. Yeah. Sounds oh, like guarantee. a romantic what, thing. What kind of guarantee. Can I, what kind of coral? Just, uh, just broke the broken, yeah. broken staghorn, stack broken bird coral. Oh my god. Like, you know, like the shallows of Mazapadzur, atmosphere, Bahura, at five meters where it starts and it's just all broken from yeah. typhoons. Because they live in that. Uh, okay. Guess Fair we course. have to go there. So we're jumping in the water finally. It's okay. almost seven. We need to go to two night dives right here in front of the house. But today, we don't just have Alex with us. We got Dr. Frogfish, very famous in Dowin. He's a. Uh, Frogfish biologist. He's gonna come help us find some frogs, but he's gonna find in cool shrimp and stuff too. So, how's it going, Dan? Pretty good. Ready to find some cool frogfish. <laughs> Hopefully. And shrimp, maybe. Tiger shrimp, marble shrimp, hinge beak shrimp, oh harlequin my. shrimp, oh hairy my. shrimp. If you see, <laughs> let's do it. If you see any one of those, I'll be happy. For sure. <laughs> Try my best. There's all the shrimps in this book here. We're gonna see it in one show, dive. Show the marble one on the front. This is the one we're gonna try to find, marble shrimp. <laughs> okay. I said, no way, I've never seen that. And then he shows up, he's like, oh, I see him all the time. <laughs> Damn it. So, you ready, Alex? Yeah, ready. You ready, Finny? Let's do it. Let's yeah. go. So this giant and weird cone snail wasn't the first thing I saw, but I couldn't really throw in the best at the very beginning. So here's a cone snail. In reality, the first thing that I saw and turned my camera on for was this hairy frogfish. It's something we've all been looking for. The entire city is probably looking for this. But it's about a month early and I wasn't expecting to see this. 
but it is a coincidence that we have Dr. Frogfish diving with us, and I was the one to find this out in the sand, and I made a whole bunch of noise to get everybody's attention, and when they got over there, they were just as excited as I was to see it. The hairy frogfish is high on our top 10 bucket list, and we finally get to cross it off. This is my second ever hairy frogfish, and Finn's first. So this is such an amazing find, and I can't believe we found it right in front of Finn's house. So, as you know, this is a night dive, and all these stupid little krill were following our lights. So we would have to turn off the lights, and then right at the last second when we're ready to film, we'll turn them on and film as fast as we can before too many clouds of krill came in the shot. But it turns out, we were actually feeding this guy. He loved it. It was like he had a little shrimp buffet coming to him. All those little krill or shrimp or whatever they are, they followed our lights. And the whole time we were filming him, he was just getting to eat. And it actually paid for some awesome footage. You can see him here snatching as many as he could. I think he was kind of grateful we were there. He didn't have to do any work. So you can see why they call it the hairy frogfish, as opposed to all the other frogfish I've been filming on this channel, who have no hairs or whatever those things are called. This guy's a little bit more rare and really coveted by the underwater photo and video community. So this guy is such a beauty. Look at those, those little spots and all those little patterns and awesome little stuff. He's such an awesome little frogfish. Definitely a great find. And as far as we know, the first one in Dowin for the year. So this guy was taking advantage of our lights and snatching those little krill out of the water. And they actually have one of the fastest bites in the world. And what they do is they actually open their mouth so rapidly that they create a suction, sucking in the prey. And they also lunge forward at the same time to make it even faster. So this is a slow motion, but you can see how fast this really is because it's impossible to film. Here's a close-up, and he's still eating, but I had to get that close-up of his face. Since I was the one to find him, I got to film him first, but of course Dan and Finn were waiting over my shoulder. So after I got enough shots, I let them film for a while, and I went off and looked for some more stuff with Alex. But such an awesome, awesome find. There was no way I was going to top this tonight. Here's a bunch of little sea squirts, and you can see the krill are just getting out of control. And then we ran into another frogfish. I think Dr. Dan found this one. I'm not sure what kind of frogfish it is, but <laughs> he's way more grumpy than the other one. As you can see, he's not a hairy frogfish, but he's also enjoying the krill that my light brings. This guy was eating just as much as the hairy was. But it's a good shot because you can see the difference between this guy and a hairy frogfish. I believe this is a painted frogfish, but you guys can tell me in the comments below. But either way, he's a much more common frogfish, and I see lots of them during the season on each dive. A little bit down, maybe around 30 meters, I found this cool little eel. He was just wandering around in the reef trying to catch something to eat. Too bad he doesn't like shrimp, huh? I don't often see these moray swimming around. They're usually just hiding in a hole. So this is a pretty cool shot. I mean, let's face it, nothing's gonna top the hairy frogfish on this time. So I was just kinda haphazardly filming whatever. Still on a high from fighting the hairy. I 
thought this was a cool shot because he's half hiding under this little algae or whatever that stuff is. And you can see the krill are still bothering us. They just follow wherever we go. Actually, one secret we started to do is we would get an even brighter light and we would put it off to the side, shining away from whatever we were filming. And the krill and plankton and whatever, they would actually go for the brighter light and stay out of our light for the most part. And that helped us get some shots, especially if we hurried. And you know what? You guys, you know this is a Mori eel, but if you just look at his head in this position, it kind of looks like a salmon. And here's the last shot of the day, or the night, I should say. It's one of those giant flatworms, and these guys are all over on this dive side at night. And I like shining my light underneath him, because he's like this radiant red glow. Such an awesome thing. But unlike the other guys, this guy wasn't too happy about the little krill. Oh man, what an amazing day. And we were so surprised that we got to cross off the hairy frogfish on this night. So guys, there's only two more critters left on our bucket list. The harlequin shrimp and the mimic octopus. And it's going to be fun finding those. I hold it. We did it! Number one of the creator bucket list of get, mine. Get over here, Dan. Oh, thanks yeah. to Dan, thanks to Alex, thanks to <laughs> Justin. I can't believe we just made a video before you got here saying, well, we're not going to find a Harry for a while, <laughs> but and we're not going to find a marble shrimp, and then we found both just now. Save die. And everyone in Darwin is looking for Harry frogfish oh, right man. now. It's going to be two weeks before we post our video. <laughs> Some people are messaging us. We found one. We found one. <laughs> we went to the dive set. We searched and no. But nothing. we got video. To we prove. got proof. You don't have proof. You're no always picture. sending us messages. <laughs> All these resorts are sending us messages. Come here. We found a Harry. And then we go there, pay nothing. Well, now we got the proof. <laughs> my place. My own topic. Dude, this is my favorite <laughs> dive yeah. site now. Seriously. Everything. Every night, everything is here. Nuts. And he saw five, what, four or five? Four other painted frogfish. Four other frogfish. Not and bad. We hey. couldn't even go anywhere. The current was so strong and he still found them. What about the, uh, was it the uh, clownfish? Yeah. Also, you found the, the clownfish, The right? clown frogfish, the, 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 the orange yeah, polka dot. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, so we got another one. I didn't see that though. So that's six frogs on one dive. Three, One's a hairy. Three species. Not bad. Well, half of the dive I spent at least just on the hairy frog. Yeah. More than yeah. that. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm staying here. I was like, cool. I'm Me, out. here, all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, just give me one little face shot, a face video, and then you can have the rest, the whole dive. <laughs> I'm so happy, guys. Ah. When I saw it, it, dude, it looked just like the photos, like the famous photo, the color, everything. Perfect. I was yeah, like, it was almost like it's a psychedelic down below. Or under the skin, uh, I reddish. Really... I think it's from my picture. I mean, already. you guys just saw the footage, so you know what it looks like. But uh, Perhaps I never uh, made that much noise in my life. I, I thought there were going to be more brownish, uh, less colorful. But I felt this one had a little bit of vibrant in him. Yeah, that that one is a typical coloration for Darwin. Uh, nice and brown with really visible brown pattern. More like a yeah, tan. Well, I thought yeah. there was a little bit of reddish in it. I have to look at the photos. I, yeah. <laughs> Everything's different from the naked eye. This Maybe is why we bought the show. chairs. Maybe I was so we... hyped up, I just didn't see right colors. <laughs> Dude, so, I was hallucinating. <laughs> so what I did, because somebody did this to us the other day at the Blue Ring. Oh yeah. I, I called Finn over. I made so much noise so he would hear me. And then before he got there, I, I shook his hand. He's like, Look. what do you want? And then I was like, oh, <laughs> Harry for you. <laughs> but let me film it. Nice one. Ah, that, right that was there. crazy. And if it wasn't for everybody here, never would have found it. Justin would have found it. Who would have found it? Yeah, we already passed it. We were flying in the current. It was in the middle of lower. I had the feeling as well today. I was like, messes, we're diving. I've been telling Justin, we're done tomorrow, even yesterday. Bring the tanks, bring the Yeah, gear. look, I brought a truckload of tanks. Extra tanks. <laughs> bring Dr. Frogfish. Frog and, frog, frog and a frogfish specialist. <laughs> <sighs> Right place, Guys, right time, we, right conditions. We need a beer. We deserve a beer. We got these chairs. Look, Alex, this is for looking at the videos and photos after each dive. We got some good ones today. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Sir Alex. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>